Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will take another example of orthographic projections. Do watch the video till the end. If you are new to my channel or you have not subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe it for upcoming videos. This is our second example on orthographic projections. As compared to the previous example, there is something new in this question. That is, there is an inclined plane or inclined surface, rather some vertical or horizontal surfaces. So how to deal with a question which is having an inclined surface will be understood in this video. There are some basic points to be remembered before starting the solution, that is, First thing, the arrow with label X indicates the front view direction. So this is the label X and this is the arrow we are talking about. So this is our front view direction. Second, identify which side view has to be drawn for the given question. So this is our front view direction. So obviously on the left of it, we will be having the side view visible. So it will be left hand side view because we are moving to the left. Third thing, that is calculate the total length, total width and total height of the given object. So, if you are calculating the length, this is the first, second and third. If you add them up, total length becomes 90 mm. Width is given directly as 60 mm. And the height, in the first step, it is given as 15 mm as a base plate thickness. And then again, 30 mm is given here. So, the total height becomes 45 mm. Now, with the solution, keeping this data with us, if nothing is mentioned in the question which projection method has to be used, by default we go for first angle projection method according to which the left hand side view should be drawn on the right side of the front view. So let us draw these lines and this will be the position where left hand side view has to be drawn. Front view will be drawn at this position and top view will be here. Now take a distance, let us say 10 or 15 mm on each side from this origin or this center these are the lines now total length is taken as 90 mm here and the total height that is 45 mm as we have seen in the previous question only length and height is visible in the front view and we have completed the box so whatever front view will be drawn will be in this enclosure Okay, so as you can see here, this are divided in three parts, 30, 30, 30. So I have given the same dimensions here. As we can see, these three lines at the same position at the bottom. So it will be a continuous thick line from the front view. Then the height is mentioned here, that is 15 mm here. So we'll take 15 mm here and we will draw the lines. Likewise, the same height is for these two corners, these two edges. So these two will be overlapped at one position here and it will be looking like this in the front view. Now, the top edge. So this edge, this edge and the third edge. So this will be here and this will be the front view for the base plate. Now, this corner and this corner will be overlapped from the front view and from here we have to move up by 30 mm. So this will be 30 mm. We have reached the top of the front view. So as per the dimensions taken, it is correct. Then it is moving forward by this distance that is 24. So we'll take 24 mm and we will draw this line thick. Then there is a slant line. Now the distance is not known, but it is going to be touching this base plate at 24 mm from this corner. So we will take accordingly 24 mm from this corner and joining the line. Now this is what is seen in the front view. Let us move towards the top view. So length will be carried as it is using this projectors and width will be seen from top view so the two dimensions which are visible in top view will be length and width taking width 60 mm and closing the box so this is the box in which the top view will be obtained now as you can see here this 
back edge line will be visible as a straight line from the top so it will be dark here another line this is completely visible from the top so we will draw this here then this edge and this edge will also be visible from the top so it will be coming here like this now coming to the front end we can see there is 30 mm line here from both the corners coming inside so we have taken the projectors from here so we can use these projectors and without even calculating this length we can draw these lines directly next this is a slot and the depth of the slot is 15 mm so we will go 15 mm from here and draw the lines accordingly then we have to close it once we have closed it now this is the portion which is remaining in the top view so this is the distance from the back corner that is 30 mm so let us take this corner projector from here on that we will be taking how much 30 mm and we will draw this line then we have to complete it so this is the top surface which is visible here and the remaining slant edge portion so we'll take another projector from this point and the same distance that is 30 mm is taken here and it is being closed so this completes our top view moving towards the elephant side view so procedure says take 45 degree angle draw a line and take the projectors to the side so i've taken the width on this side so this width is 60 mm using this 45 degree line it is transferred here and this distance is by default 60 mm now this is the baseline which is available in your left hand side view which i have drawn here then we will see this base plate as a rectangular shape this we are talking about 60 by 15 so this is 60 and this is 15 then this projection we are talking about so this line we are taking here and we will be taking it up and from here in the front view we take another projector and we have to dark it now there is one edge this one this edge or another edge here of the slot which is present in this question but will not be visible from the left hand side view if it is not visible then it should be shown by dash line at what position it is so at it is 15 mm from the front face so this is the position taking a line from here projector and this is the position at which dash line should be drawn now the basic difference here was this surface we are talking about this is a slant surface now this is the slant portion we are talking about inclined surface this surface is visible at two locations first in the top view at this location and in side view at this location whereas the inclination of this plane is visible in the third view where this surface is not seen so here is the inclination so you have to remember the basic thing flat surfaces which are horizontal or vertical they will be seen only in one view whereas inclined surfaces will be visible or seen in two views and the view in which the surface is not seen will be showing its inclination hope you have understood this hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching it